Christmas and I'm not gonna lie, I'm tired. I've been cooking for two days straight in large capacities, but I'm not complaining. I'll do anything for my family. But right now I need time to recover. Oh, so how do you think yesterday was? How was yesterday for you? It was fine, very calm. Yeah, calm, good day. I just feel like oh, any opportunity to spend with our family is always a good time. So that was good. Even though me cooking for two days straight, like in large capacities, it, it had me tired. So, so thank God today we're able to like lay in a bit and rest because and recover. Because honestly, I feel, really feel I need to get myself together, get my energy together in anticipation, in anticipation for the next year so that I can go in full force because lately I've just been feeling tired like I don't have energy for Jack and I don't feel that it's a good place a good feeling to be in because I just I just don't have energy to be doing anything and I, sh I know that there are things I want to accomplish and energy is required so yeah I just hope this holiday season I'm able to just really recover rest up and get it together and just for, I'm ready for next year really and that's the vibe I'm on right now what about you how are you feeling for next year yeah, just, yeah. Mm. I don't know. I feel like next year is going to be a year of success. Amen. Hello. Just guys. growth. Growth and wealth. Good. You're speaking to the masses. You're speaking to the masses. That's the vibe. That's the vibe. Mm -hmm. Any other vibe? We don't know that. Mm. We do not know that, man. But this one now. Mm -hmm. This one now that Christmas has passed. Like, Christmas has passed. Are we meant to stop, like, playing... Christmas music. Are we just meant to stop playing Christmas music? No, because Christmas is until the epiphany. Oh. You know the vibes, you know the vibes, because bro, I just think like, since the season to be jolly, I cannot just stop the jolly now because Christmas Day has passed. So, that's not bad, even the Christmas movies, they're still touching the spirits. So, I don't think it's time to stop yet. Mm -mm -mm. So, it's so jolly, right? Thank God, because mm -mm. Christmas is still here. Any excuse to be jolly, I am there. So, what's the plan for the rest of the week? What's happening? Nothing really. Mm -mm. <clears throat> I'm just excited for my first crossover. I'm so excited. Because apparently it's all the branches. Mm -hmm. Harlow Branch, Woodbury, Ilford. Mm -hmm. You're going out a lot. I know, right. And I was just dipping it today. It's really just... I'm starting to look a bit busy. Tomorrow I've got work. Mm. Um, the next day, I'm going out with this cousin. Speaking of that, I really need to speak to Whitney about this our cousin. Answer. Let me see what she's really on. Because I don't know whether she's saying, oh, she's going to be busy. She's not... <clears throat> she better I'm busy because she knew about these plans from day dots and mm -hmm. agreed on the but day But your plans your plans are a bit long. Why? You don't eat them winter one time. That's the thing. When I think we better to go winter one time first though. And right now That's expensive. I thought you guys all crying have no money. Excuse me, no money where? <laughs> or you guys all like like it's expensive because winter ones are expensive yeah. on zone. And then you mm. wanna go in ish. But winter ones are like you'd have to pay to go inside. Well at least when I'm in last time I do have to pay to go inside. You don't pay to go inside, but once you're in it's yeah, expensive. the the weather's an older one. And the food is a lot. Yeah, but if we're going to eat, we'll probably not be getting too much. Even though we'll definitely, at least, we'll probably get a snack or something. But we'll see. But, yeah, that, those plans, we're still deciding whether we'll even go to bridge for them or we'll just do dinner or just do into underline. Because we also, me and we do also need to do something before they start asking. So, we're still trying to get together. All we know that 29th, we should be seeing each other. And, of course, it's going to be a good time. Whenever we link up, it's a good time. Who's so, going? Me, Udo, Whitney, heavily. It should be all four of us. So that is the vibe. So yeah, I've got that. Then on Saturday I should be seeing Timmy. Then Sunday I should be indoors. So, yeah. But honestly, this weather does is not encouraging, man. This weather does not encourage you to go outside. Even though people will be telling me, Clinton, you probably need to be going outside. You that is looking for this your wife up and down. You probably need to be on the streets, but I'm, I don't, I'm not for the streets, you understand? I'm for the house, you know? So, and I strongly believe my wife and me will, will be on the same vibe, but maybe we should not be on the same vibe. Maybe one of us should be for the streets. But not for the streets. That doesn't sound right. I've made it a recurring joke for the past two years that I'm going to get married, but some people can't take me seriously because they know that I don't experiment and leave my house. Because you keep saying you want to find your wife. Mm -hmm. And you know, God's, I was, because obviously on TikTok, right? I was mm -hmm. on TikTok, and no, it wasn't TikTok, it was past. It was some pastor, Pastor Ryan, I think, mm -hmm. right on TikTok, and he was saying like, obviously like God's timing, mm -hmm. but like if your appointment's at two o'clock, mm -hmm. you you can you can keep yourself at like twelve o'clock mm -hmm. for four years, like you have to like like obviously like God's timing, mm -hmm. like God says your appointment's at two o'clock, yeah. but like you need to actively like prepare yourself to be able to be ready to collect the blessings that He's going to give you at two o'clock. But I can in the house. 
but like where are you going to meet her growing up i wasn't really the kind of child that used to go out to random places or to random events i just used to go out with my family and as i grew up further circumstances didn't really give me the space to go out to random places or random parties and now looking back i don't really look back with too many complaints because i'm quite confident that i don't need to be in random places to accomplish anything I don't mind going outside, mm -hmm. it's just that I don't want to be outside without purpose. I don't want to just be outside, do you understand? Just going for parties with flyers, just mm -hmm. going to the club with flyers, you know, just, you know, going to mingle with flyers. Mm -hmm. Anything with flyers, I don't think that's my vibe. I think, you know, with flyers. You know, people that just post flyers and be like, oh, I have an event, there's this event, come through, pay for a ticket. And that's, I don't think that's my vibe. I think I'm, the vibe, my vibe is, Invites me and invites me with invitation with my name on it. If invitation doesn't have my name on it, I don't know whether I want to be there. You understand? And especially if I don't know anybody there. You understand? You know all these random events. I don't think it's my vibe. I, don't think that's I my think vibe. I've become a homebody. Like I really like being at home. I think we're ready for the house. Like what's what's happening outside? I don't think I'm necessarily a homebody, but I like to go out with purpose, either to see people I know or a place that will aid my growth. I don't like to be out for no reason. I don't want to be confused for somebody that is jobless. So right now, I'm going to pop out and get a Christmas gift for one of my cousins. And I'm going to get Jennifer to tag along with me because, of course, I know going out with me is the highlight of her day. Uh-huh. Don't you think that I can see you? Oh, Maybe she can wear it with a nice black top or nice white top. Yeah. Do you understand? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I think that's good. Let's keep this for now. Then we'll just check if there's anything else. Okay. Right. Anything else. Anything else. So, we're at the store now and we're checking out for things that will fit my cousin's style. Um, yeah, I'm thinking this cousin. Okay. This is it. Oh, oh nice stuff. What are you thinking? It's a bit big. I think we'll swallow her up. But you know sometimes it's nice to wear like loose stuff. Because she have to wear this like a tight top. Yeah? But we'll let her know. Wear this like a tight top so that, you know, we give them that contrast. Tight at the top, you know, loose at the bottom. That doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound good. Tight at the top, loose at the bottom. Anywho, but what are you thinking? Or should we get a smaller size? Because they're meant to be oversized. They're meant to be oversized, isn't it? Give you that loose look, relaxed. So that's, that's what I say, that's if you know how to dress. But we'd tell her like how to dress it. Because even these jeans, you don't dress them well. But that's just black. You know, that's rice. Like, what's jeans cover? Jeans cover. That's, that's rice. Who has jeans cover? Mm -hmm. Eh? Mm -hmm. Why do you have jeans cover? I wear them this all the time. Jeans cover? Yeah. Jennifer just dropped a bomb here telling me that cargo jeans are nice. She definitely cannot be feeling well because that's just rice. Jeans are meant to be jeans and nothing else. She'll wear those more there for The jeans? I think so. But I would wear jeans more, that's oh. what I would wear. I would wear jeans more. But the covers are nice. So, we have to be decisive. Which one are we going for? I think the covers are nice. We're going for the covers. That's that. We're done. Let's go. Job done. Job done. This has been a successful trip. I don't know about others, but I use gift giving as an opportunity to elevate the style of the receiver. And I think today we've done just that. Next time on the House of Yogas. For those that don't know, Abu Mibo. Ah. Uh, uh, delays all the still fine, all the still fine. I'm starting to calculate the Igbo in my head. Kedu. Ka. Ikwaka, ikwaka for me, ikwaka for me. Come.